So in 2019, Tormenta FC will be moving to the new USL Division 3. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about what the move to the professional ranks means to the club? It's really exciting. I think um, what we have in store with the stadium being built, uh, we want a professional setting and, and naturally uh, we want a professional team to, to, uh, to play in that stadium. Uh, and so what we're trying to do is, is build a team that our community and even the surrounding area of Savannah, Hilton Head can connect with, with our style of play, the type of people we select. Uh, we want our community to connect and to really enjoy watching games uh, in that facility because it's a first class facility and we need a first class team to, uh, to play in it. And can you talk about what the formation of a professional Division Three league will mean to U.S. soccer? I think it's brilliant because right now, the, the, G, the jump between the PDL and USL and MLS, <clears throat> that can sometimes be a large jump. Uh, we're going to have some players with us this summer uh, in, uh, in 2018 in the PDL season that have slipped through the cracks that I know are good enough to be out here that may or may not have just showed on the wrong day at the wrong time, but it gives them an opportunity. And so when you look at the third tier, it's just one more step in the process of a four-tier process where we can, where top, play, top teams like the MLS, USL teams can maybe send some players down and get some professional minutes and then vice versa. You get a player to potentially fast track, go into the third tier, second tier, first tier. It just adds one more knot to the ladder for uh, a player to prove himself. And how important is it for the United Soccer League to have a full pyramid starting with the youth ranks at Super Y League through the PDL D3 and D2 USL? Well, when you look at some of the top leagues in the world and you look at some of the top clubs in the world, obviously, you know, you, Barca, for example, you look at um, uh, some of the top premiership clubs, their academies are fantastic and their youth development is fantastic. And so it would make perfect sense for there to be some correlation and for a direct connection from a USO professional team all the way down to the youth ranks to have some continuity in the brand of continuity and the ideas to where we're producing potential pros at, at the U12, U14, U16, U18 level that that are being exposed to higher level tactics and being exposed to professional settings and expectations that then prepare them to be a pro, maybe at USL3 and then USL and then maybe MLS.